layout of a proof, the angle bisector proof. Okay, the last few videos we've done some proofs as examples to show you how they're done. And now we're going to do the angle bisector proof. So let's look at our picture first. I've made it colorful so that you could follow along easier with the lines and angles. And let's look at what we've got here overall. We've got our given and what we need to prove here. We've got our proof table with our statements on the left and our reasons on the right. And we have A, B, C, D, and E at the vertex X. And it looks like the angle of AXB and the angle of BXC are congruent and CXD and DXE are congruent. You can tell by those lines there, see? So let's see what happens here. Given XB, line XB, or ray XB, I should say, which is the brown one, okay? You can see it right there. Bisects the angle of AXC, the red and green one. So the brown one is bisecting the red and green one, okay? That's given. XD, the ray XD, this one right here, bisects the green and purple one, CXE. Okay? So they're saying the brown one bisects the red and green, and the orange one bisects the green and purple. Okay? We need to prove that the measure of AXB, this first one, plus the measure of DXE, this last one, is equal to the measure of BXD, is equal to these two together. Now remember I said these two are equal, this one and this one, and that these two are equal to each other? So they're saying we have to prove that this one plus this one will equal these two up here, okay? And, you know, we can look at it and kind of say, well, yeah, you know, if, if this is one and this is one and this is two and this is two, then 1 plus 2 is equal to 1 plus 2, but they want us to prove it with deductive reasoning using definitions and postulates and theorems. So let's try it, okay? So it says the given. So we list our given as our first statement and our reason. So we have the measure of the red and the brown one angle is equal to the measure of the brown and the green one. And the reason that we state that is the definition of, of an angle bisector, that ray XB bisects the angle AXC into two equal angles. So because it was given that the brown one bisects these two, and the definition of an angle bisector is that they're equal, we have now proven that these two are equal, okay? So now we've got this ray XD bisects CXE as another given, okay? This orange one bisects the green and purple, okay? That's our other given, so we put given. So we're going to do the same thing as we did for number two. We're going to say the measure of the green and the orange one, CXD, is equal to the measure of the orange and the purple one. See? And the reason is same as two, the definition of an angle bisector, that it makes two equal angles. Okay? So now we're on to number five. The measure of the red and brown one, that angle, plus the measure of the orange and purple, is equal to the measure of the brown and green plus the measure of the green and orange. Okay? The reason? The addition rule. Equal quantities added together are equal to each other. So because we proved that the ones that are equal to each other because of the bisector rule, the definition of an angle bisector, we can now say that these are equal to each other and our reason is the addition rule. Equal quantities added together are equal to each other, okay? So, now we're at six. The measure of the brown and green one, 
BXC, plus the measure of the green, the orange and green one, okay, is equal to the measure of the brown and orange. Okay, so we're saying that the measure of this one and the measure of this one is equal to these two together. Our reasoning is the angle addition postulate. Its whole is the sum of its parts. So, we've already determined that this and this added to each other are, are equal to this entire big one because a whole is the sum of its parts. So now, we have to prove this last line and our reasoning for the red and brown one plus this orange and purple one being equal to the brown and orange one, our reasoning is substitution rule, that equal quantities can replace each other. So, we've proven that these two are combined are equal to the outside ones. And that's what we were trying to do. If this is confusing at all, just pause the video and look at these reasons and go through these measures and slowly figure out the reasoning for this because it does make sense if you go slow and methodically and take a look at it. But that's the angle bisector proof. We are going to move on to video number 43 and we're going to do supplements of angles proof.